But the stubborn golden retriever wanted to try. Everyone couldn't help but sigh at Teddy's craftsmanship. He is really a once-in-a-century craftsman. Then they crawled into a door, found that a weird face in front was constantly spitting out paper balls. A few people hadn't walked a few steps before they were almost buried by paper balls. If they go in, they might be drowned alive. When they wanted to return, they suddenly woke up a paper crane. It immediately turned into a huge firebird and attacked several people, and triggered the mechanism to lock the return door. Fortunately, Bago reacted in time and pierced the paper crane with a steel rod. Lisa found that the mouth of the big face seemed to lead to another exit, so they hurriedly crawled down from here, but didn't expect that as soon as Samoyed came down, he stepped on the clutch, was killed on the spot by a hidden weapon. Samoyed was the first one to be eliminated. On the other side, Schnauzer and Husky who were acting separately had a strange idea, ready to find some fun. Schnauzer said to Husky, you chase me, if you catch up with me, we will be together. As a result, as soon as he came to Schnauzer, he tripped over a rope.